This is Mitchell Zoller from Elsevier Global Medical News, reporting from New Orleans at the American Heart Association Scientific Sessions. I'm speaking with Dr. David Machar. He's reporting today at the meeting on a study that looked at patient self-testing for INR levels in uh, patients taking warfarin because of atrial fibrillation or mechanical heart valves. And so, Dr. Machar, what are the uh, implications of your findings in terms of uh, using patient self-testing compared with a more conventional way to monitor INRs and adjust warfarin dosing in patients? Well, I think first we, we didn't find that patient self-testing was a panacea in the sense that uh, when we compared it with anticoagulation management with what would be like a typical anticoagulation clinic, there were not significantly fewer major events, which was stroke, death, or major bleed. But on the other hand, uh, we did find that patients in the patient self-testing group had higher rates of time in their therapeutic range by about 5 to 7 percent, and that they liked using the devices in terms of the issues related to hassles and, and concerns and so on about anticoagulation, um, they were significantly happier in that sense. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I think that the clinical implications are that we've now have can, can feel comfortable that this provides another option for high quality anticoagulation uh, because frankly a number of people out there who are, are eligible for anticoagulation are not being anticoagulated or, or not being anticoagulated well. So, mm -hmm. so I think that this just improves the options that we have available. Right. I understand that Medicare has recently uh, made uh, reimbursement for patient self-testing of INRs available to a wider range of patients. So where do you see the future in the next few years of patient self-testing going? Is this going to be an uh, um, approach that will be more widely used than it has been in the past? Well, I think, frankly, the answer to that is going to be based on what people do and how they feel that the reimbursement arrangement actually works for them. So I can't answer that, the question about whether people are going to find that it's sort of financially okay to mm -hmm. do it, but, mm -hmm. um, but I think clinically it makes sense. Mm -hmm.